so today we're doing the dominican team build all players that are like in the mlb currently from the dominican republic so not an all-time build but they have to be currently playing in the mlb i definitely missed out on some players so if you think and think of any players that i missed out on let me know in the comment section down below but before we talk about this video any further if you guys want to be part of a franchise series that's going to be starting this weekend i'm doing a zero overall franchise again i wanted to kind of bring another franchise series where we can start from zero and just work our way up it allows me to have something to upload daily maybe even double uploads on top of like the rebuild videos that we've been doing so if you guys want to be part of it i will leave the patreon link in the pinned comment down below also in the description there's different tiers that you guys can do so go check it out in the description and also in the pinned comment so let's talk about today's video we're obviously going to be used players that are currently in the mlb so i'm definitely missing out on some of the players in the past that were studs in the mlb but let's talk about current players and we'll see how we can do with this dominican team we're only going to do one season but if the first season doesn't go too well we'll definitely start a second season and see how things go so if you enjoyed today's video make sure you hit the thumbs up down below subscribe if you're new to the channel and enjoy the content and as always in the comment section let me know future videos you would like to see if you missed last video go and check it out we did a 99 pitching staff and a zero overall lineup and we could see if we won a world series maybe even make the playoffs that was kind of the tough part so go check it out if you missed it all social media are down in the description below and let's hop into today's video so i was trying to like look for a team that kind of fit like the dominican theme like i know miami's got that cuban vibe but unfortunately there really wasn't any so i gotta ignore budgets just to make sure that we're you know we're cool to work with um the team and then everything else is the normal standard setting so let me get this lineup and roster set up and i'll show you guys what we're working with all right so let's let's take a look at this roster so starting pitchers we got severino cueto frankie montas michael pineda and reynaldo lopez i know i know no bartolo cologne i missed out on him there definitely were some other names that i missed out on there was framber valdez edison volquez um fernando romero um, and there were a couple other names that I missed out on for sure, but I felt like this was some of the better pitchers we could have gone with. And um, before Frankie Montas got caught for using PEDs, he was having a great year. Severino, when healthy, is having a you know is a really solid pitcher. Uh, Johnny Cueto, one of the better pitchers in the in the last few or probably the last like you know the 2010s, I would say. Um, Reynaldo Lopez, if he can just figure it out, be more consistent, he would have a great career. And Michael Pineda. He likes to cheat, but you know what? He's a, he's a he's an okay pitcher, not the best, but definitely an okay pitcher. Um, relief pitchers: Pedro Strope, Diego Castillo, Stio, Kelvin Herrera, uh, and Reyes Maranta are kind of our relief pitchers. Again, there's names that I missed out on: Wander Suero, Arodas Vizcaino. There's definitely names that I missed out on. And then closing: Leclerc, Calame, and Carlos Martinez. So. There's definite names that I missed out on, but those are kind of the better names that I found. Catchers, we had to go with Scary Gary and then Wellington, Wellington Castillo. Not too many catchers from the Dominican Republic that are like currently in the MLB that are, are decent. So those were kind of the two ones that I went with. We went with Ed Wing and then Albert Pujols. We had to go Pujols. You can't have a Dominican team without Pujols. We could have gone Guzman who plays for the Texas Rangers, but I felt like these two were the right options to go with for first base. Second base, we went with VR and Cano. Uh, Starling Castro was a name that I missed out on. Robel Garcia. Uh, but for the most part, I felt, I felt like these were the two that we had to go with. Another name that we could have gone with Hanley Ramirez, but he was more of like a first base, third base, shortstop. Not really second base, but you, you get the gist. Hanley could have been on here, but I felt like we will pass on Hanley and we'll go with these guys. Miguel Andujar, definitely a solid third baseman. Could have gone with Michael Franco as well. We have Tatis Jr. and Jorge Polanco at short. And then um, Ahmed Rosario was a name that I missed out on for the shortstop. Um, he had a great year this year, but I decided to go with Polanco and Tatis. Left field, we have Ozuna. Center field, we have Marte. And we have two Martes, actually, Starling and Cattell. And then right field, we have Nelson Cruz. Outfield is like the most stacked position for the Dominican team. There are so many players that I could have chosen here. You have Domingo Santana. You have Victor Robles. Um, who else? Gregory Polanco. I have a whole list right here. Framil Reyes, Nomar Mazzara, Ramon Laureano, Eloy Jimenez. There's a lot. 
So these were kind of the ones I went with. I felt like this was the best choice, or these were the best choices. So this is the team. So this is the team we're working with. I like it. It's it's, it's a pretty good team. Um, definitely really solid. And uh, when you look at the pitching rotation, I feel like this is the starting rotation is kind of the weak link, but um, the bullpen's pretty strong as well. We'll take a look and see where we're ranked overall. Um, we are ranked fifth, best in power and contact. So hitting wise, we're really good. Speed and defense, not so much. And pitching, we're, we're decent, not terrible. So let's simulate the season. All right, so the season's coming to an end and you can see we just hit that 100 win mark. And I'm assuming that's gonna be good enough to win the division. And it is 102 and 60, won the division. Take it on the Royals, really? The Royals. Um, but we've actually dropped to what, 11th when we were fifth? Um, so let's take a look. So we got the best batting average, the most hits, and the most runs. So not terrible. Not terrible at all. Awards, we had a silver slugger. Chris Davis won MVP. What universe are we living in? 50 homers, a 324 average, not a chance. Not a chance. Where, who, how, what? Um, so let's take a look because we, we dropped in rating. So, I mean, I kind of get, we do have some aging players, but, um, let's take a look at our pitching staff. So not the best ERA whip is pretty good for Cueto. Uh, Frankie Montas was not amazing. Reynaldo Lopez was about the same as Severino and Cueto. The whip's a little high though. And then Michael Pineda is there. Martinez was good. Uh, Diego Castillo was all right. Moranta was terrible. Uh, Kelvin, or uh, Kelvin Herrera really good good era good whip um jose leclerc's whip in era is high Colome was solid and pedro stroke 47 saves five blown saves but the era and the whip's really high so maybe swap these two and see how that goes when we take a look at the lineup though cano's down to a 71 but not a bad year 281 eight home runs limit very limited plate appearances so pretty solid i'll take that starling Marte. Fantastic. Wellington Castillo, not terrible. And Pujols only had four at-bats, but in his one hit, he did get an RBI. So I will take that for sure. Ketel Marte is our leadoff guy. Very solid. 37, uh, 37 doubles, 28 home runs, 23 stolen bases, 285 with 861 OPS. I'll take that. Tatis, not not the best. So let's, uh, let's move Polanco up a little bit. Um, but let's take a look at Tati. So 246, obviously the, the hitting stats, I think should be a little bit higher, but for the most part, it looks pretty solid. Um, what do we got? Polanco was 333 with 25 home runs, 116 RBIs and almost 50 doubles. That's huge. Nelson Cruz is just a home run hitting beast. Um, 37 home runs, 111 RBIs and a 309 average, 278 for Ed Wing. Um, pretty good year. And then Marcelo Zuna, pretty solid home runs aren't there, but not terrible. Gary Sanchez, 22 home runs, 74 RBIs. We got Andujar hit 325 with almost 20 home runs. And then Jonathan Villar, not bad, not bad. So overall, pretty happy with the way the team performed. I mean, we're in the playoffs, so I guess I can't be like too upset, but taking on the Royals, interesting. So the Royals in the playoffs, Crush Davis won MVP. What's going on here? So we swept the we swept the Royals, no problem. Let's get the starting rotation set up. And then we had Montas pitch third. So let's go. Let's go like that. All right. So so far so good. We swept the Royals, and uh, we're gonna sweep the Astros as well. And we're taking on the Dodgers in the World Series. So. That was uh, that, that went pretty well, I would say. Who's pitching? Pineda. No, he's not. So let's just kind of move everybody and let's go like that. So, Sevy Kershaw, game one of the World Series, and we get a win. Game two, we lose. All right. So, game three, we lost as well. And then game four. So, we're facing elimination, not the best situation. And, um, Let's see how it goes. We're gonna take Severino on the mound with his 550 ERA, but he's 3-0. Interesting. And uh, some players are pretty tired. Holy cow. All right, but let's just keep moving forward. Dodgers lineup, standard Dodgers lineup. And uh, let's, let's get on the board early. Let's not let them do that. Jack Peterson goes deep. We got first and third. <sighs> Can he hit the sack fly? He doesn't. So I see a lot of you guys in the comment section always saying like, do the bunt, do the sack fly, do this, do that. 
I've tried every combination under the sun to get that those runs home and it doesn't work. I feel like I am the least clutch player in quick manage in the world. Like if you need someone to get a run in, don't let me control anything, all right? Because bad things are gonna happen. So, so far it's one to one. Ketel Marte tied the game. I was talking while that happened. And um, Sevi's done. Sevi gone through six. Ketel Marte has two home runs today and uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing. So Sevi's done, let's take him out. Let's go to uh, Kelvin Herrera. Maybe that wasn't the right choice. We don't have a lefty. Huh. Hit by pitch. Just, just what I wanted. You know, just what I was looking for. We're going to bring in Carlos Martinez. One run scores. Two run scores. Three run scores. And it's just not our day, I guess. So we're down two. Can we get those runs back, though? All right. Ketel Marte. No. That's unfortunate. He's like our only source of runs. There we go. Nelson Cruz goes deep, ties the ball game. We're going to take out Martinez just because he's been a little, oh God, a little shaky. Let's bring in Strope and Strope's going to lose us the game. Oh yeah. I mean, what do we got? One run, bottom nine, VR is up. Can he get on? He does. Can he steal second? He does. Scoring position, no outs. Man on third, sack fly, tie ball game. Wow, it worked for once. Who would have thought? Pedro Strope is still in. Not too sure why. We get the double play. Perfect. Ketel Marte, walk it off. Dang it. Somebody walk it off. Anybody walk it off. Anything at all, that'd be nice. Marcelo Zuna? No. VR? Gary? Where's, where's our offense? Why has everything just gone cold all of a sudden? When we need to, you know, get these runs, get these bats going. It was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. All right, Nelson Cruz, I need you here. That's a good start. Do we have anybody who can pinch run? We do. All right, cool. Let's do it. Uh, let's swing away. First and second. No outs. Two runs scored. There we go. Ball game. And we're back in it. That's how things work. All right. We still need to win three more games. Uh, no, two more games. Can we do it? Let's have Cueto take the mound. Let's uh, let's let's score early. Let's score often, and let's just blow this game up really quick. That's a good start. That's one run. I'll take it. Then they tie it up, so that's not the best. But you know what? We scored early, so maybe we can you know start tacking them on, see if we can win this game. So Cueto's pitching well. I like that. First and second for Tatis Jr., who's been quiet the postseason. So let's see if we can get him going. He brought in a run, so that's a good start. Cueto, Cueto, Cueto. I know you're tired. Give me this out. There we go. Tie ball game still. And uh, I don't I don't know. Yeah, he's done. He's done. I got greedy. So Carlos Martinez comes in, does his job. Can I'm going to keep him in because he's got that long, that long stamina. Tatis goes deep, gives us the lead. And that's good. All right. Marcel gets on. And we're going to bring in... Strope's really tired. Do I trust LeClerc? No. So we're going to go Herrera. Man. That's unfortunate. So Andujar is out. Polanco's out. We're going to pinch hit. We're going to go to... Probably Cano here, right? He gets on. We're going to pinch run for him. Because he is so slow. Let's go to... Marte didn't matter all right pitching change let's go Leclerc now and please don't blow the game it's not your day we're gonna go um let's go Castillo and that's it oh man we made it to the World Series and we lost really Nelson Cruz was the po the postseason MVP had himself a postseason for sure and let's go see where things went wrong so, Reynaldo Lopez actually was really good. Probably should have used him a little bit more. Pineda didn't pitch. Sevi was shaky a little bit. ERA is high. The whip's kind of low, though, so it's not terrible. Cueto, amazing. And then Frankie Montas was really solid. So, where did things go wrong? There's one. There's two. So, just those two guys, right? Like, Kalame wasn't amazing either. So, maybe we should have went to different options in the bullpen. And when you look at the lineup... Um, Osuna, wow, that is bad. Gary wasn't great. Uh, VR wasn't good. 
Okay, so I mean, it just it just didn't click, right? I mean, up until the World Series, everything was great. We didn't lose a game. And then, you know, the Dodgers are just the Dodgers and it just didn't work out, unfortunately. So besides this game, everything was pretty close. You know, we lost by two, we lost by one, and then we lost by one. So just the offense went quiet in the games that we lost, which is unfortunate. So that's that's the Dominican team build. Let me know if you guys can think of any players that I missed out on. I know Bartolo, Hanley Ramirez. There's definitely some names I missed out on, and that's going to be it, guys. So again, if you want to be part of a franchise series, I am starting it most likely probably Saturday morning. I'll probably do a double upload on Saturday. Go and check out Patreon. Link again is in the comment section. It'll be the pinned comment and also in the description. And then other than that, guys, I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure you hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and enjoy the content. And as always, leave a comment down below. I'm going to leave two videos on screen for you guys, our most recent upload and also a video that YouTube recommends for you to check out. Other than that, guys, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.